um, the June 2023 paper that was just written last Friday. Um, we will start with the algebraic part. Question number 1.1.1 1. 1. 1 says, solve for x. So they gave you 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 to solve. Um, this is algebra, so you just factorize and then you solve for x. So when you are going to factorize, you take the, the last term, which is 12. Find factors of 12. Factors of 12 is plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 6, plus or minus 12. Take two of them to form 12 when you multiply, and also to form minus 7 when you add the two. We can see that 3 and 4 can bring 7. So we have 3 and 4 that can bring 7. But we need minus 7, so it means both of them must be negative and negative. Negative 3 times n. Negative 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 7. And negative 3 times minus 4 will give you positive 12. In that case, you open bracket, two brackets, put your equals to 0. Factors of this x squared is x, so you can say minus 3 x minus 4 equals to 0. Then you solve for x. So you see x minus 3 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. Therefore, x is equals to positive 3 or x is equals to 4. So this will be your solution. And if you don't want this to, you can use the quadratic formula. You substitute your values of a, b, and c and you solve for x. I think for those who have challenges in using the factor method or using the bracket method, you have also the right to use the quadratic formula and just do the correct substitution. A as positive 1, B as minus 7, and C as 12 in the correct position. And so x will come out as 3 or x will come out as 4. So that's it. So 1.1.2, .1 they say solve for x again, x into bracket, 3x plus 5 equals to 1. In this case, they said correct it to two decimal places. So here you don't have any right to use the bracket method. Here you are restricted. You need to use the quadratic what? formula. So first thing you do is to expand to remove the bracket. And how do we expand? We use x to multiply 3x and that will give you 3x squared. x multiplied by 5 will give us 5x equals to 1. Then we transpose the 1 to the left. So when you are going to take 1 from the right to the left, you need to minus 1 from both sides. So what will happen will give us 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals to 0. This is what we call a standard form. Make sure you put 0 here for one mark. If you fail to put a 0, you will lose a mark because it must be written in a standard form. From there, you substitute into the quadratic formula, which says x equals to negative b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac r over 2a. So you take your a is 3, your b is 5, and your c is minus 1. So let's do the substitution. We say x is equals to negative, our b is 5, put in a bracket, plus minus square root, our b is 5, Put in a bracket again, square, minus 4a, where a is 3, in a bracket, your c is minus 1, and also a bracket. Then you divide it by 2 times 3. So, let's use our calculator, and then we punch it on the calculator. So, as with my calculator, uh, I put negative into bracket, 5, close the bracket. I first use a plus because the plus or minus sign is not on the calculator. So you use one of them first and then look for the square root. Open a bracket and put 5 in. I hope you are following me. So then you square and then you say minus 4 into bracket, um, 3, close the bracket, open another one, you say minus 1. You close it and then you move the cursor down. You say two open bracket three. 
then it will give you this. So it will give you minus 5 plus square root of 37. Make sure you write it over 6. Or you get minus 5 minus square root of 37 over 6 as uh, set form. Then you press SD button on the calculator. And then this will give you x is equal to 0, 0,18. They said to two decimal place, 0, 0,18. Or you come here and you move the minus sign. Uh, you move the positive sign here and put minus there. And it will give you minus. The other answer will be plus minus five minus should be like this. So it will give you minus one x is equal to minus one comma eight five. That's what you got. So these are the two solutions to two decimal places. I have to the same video. So now let's go to the next one, the next question. <coughs>